The purpose of a voltage comparator is to generate an output signal that corresponds to the greater than or less than relationship between the voltages at the op amps input terminals. If we think of the comparator's output as a digital signal, we can say that the comparator generates a logic high when the voltage at the non-inverting input is higher than the voltage at the inverting input, and a logic low when the voltage at the non-inverting input is lower than the voltage at the inverting input. Comparator operation occurs as a natural result of the op amp's extremely high gain, and the full gain is applied to the difference between the input voltages. This means that even a very small positive or negative V diff will cause the op amp's output to saturate at or near the corresponding supply voltage. A common comparator application is producing an output signal that indicates whether an input signal is above or below a specified threshold voltage. For example, you might want to manually deactivate one of the components on a circuit board when its supply voltage drops below 3 volts. These types of comparator tasks are accomplished by generating a reference voltage and using this voltage as one of the inputs to the comparator. If you need an extremely precise threshold, you can use a voltage reference IC, but in many cases a resistive divider is adequate. The open loop comparator topology discussed thus far has a serious limitation. Noise will cause the op amp to produce spurious output transitions when VDIF is near zero volts. For example, we can feed the output of a sensor into a comparator and use the comparator's output to trigger the execution of some code on a microcontroller. When the sensor signal approaches the threshold, small amplitude high frequency variations can cause the signal to quickly move above and below the threshold, which leads to multiple output transitions. These transitions are undesirable because they represent noise behavior rather than the behavior of the authentic input signal. The problem of spurious output transitions is resolved by incorporating hysteresis into the comparator circuit. The term hysteresis refers to the technique of using different thresholds for negative to positive transitions and positive to negative transitions. This creates a hysteresis band that extends above and below V diff equals zero volts. One way we can create different negative to positive and positive to negative thresholds is by incorporating positive feedback as shown here. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.